Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you enjoyed um, Sunday's side. Oh my goodness. Cityscape Beach. I thought it turned out amazing. Um, and today is part two of three Cityscape. Um, we are doing a swipe. Now, this is quite humorous because <laughs> My son-in-law quite likes this picture. It was my very, very first video on YouTube. Hilarious. I actually went back and watched it and I was like, OMG, what in the heck? <laughs> very funny. This is gonna be video 252. So have quite a few videos. So they've improved a little bit. So I will link it if you want a little bit of a laugh to go back and watch it. But this is what we're doing. We're doing a swipe of a city line, cityscape. So basically it is more or less a Dutch pour mix, but you put some silicone oil in the mix. I have been doing this, like I said before, these paints are probably almost three and a half years old. So I've been doing this for a little while. So <clears throat> the only thing is when you leave your silicone in like that, your cells become very small as opposed to adding silicone in as you're doing it, give it a quick mix and your cells, you'll get beautiful bigger cells. But with it sitting down here for almost three years, um, cause I hate using silicone cause you have to clean everything. Sorry to say that people that like to use it, more power to you, but I've gotten away. That's why I've been doing the Dutch pours because you don't have to clean everything. And I was having issues with varnishing and putting resin on. So with that, we're gonna use silicone oil. My mix is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, little bit of water, and one drop of silicone oil for every ounce of paint is how I did it. I think I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I did basically like the little Dixie cup, I would put one or two drops in there. So that would be, yeah. So anyways, with that, I'm gonna bring you down. We're gonna go through everything we're using and I hope you're enjoying City Escape Week. Let's bring it right on down. Don't even need to pause. I got everything right here, guys. Hopefully, you're in my screen. It's the only issue I may have. Let me put this here so I can see. There, here. You are in my screen. Okay, so I have cut up all of these little pieces. Let's flip you up a little so I can see. Not that much. All of these little pieces. We're gonna use these to swipe. All I did was cut from one of my um, packaging off of my canvases. Keep all that stuff, guys. It is well worth your keeping. Now these are all my silicone paints. See, I've been putting them in my squeezy bottles for years. And these. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna say five colors. You don't wanna go, the other one here, I went crazy with the colors. So I think I'm gonna pick five and we will do. Oh, I'm hoping that I have names on here. Oh, look at that. That looks like my Pebbio Studio iridescent blue, <laughs> yellow, green. We'll use that. We will do a nice I'm hoping there's enough room. Let me find more that one that's got more. Oh, maybe I'll have to mix them together. This is, I'm hoping I can read it. Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. We will do, um, Artist Loft Crimson. So there's red. We will do, Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow. And let's do, we don't have a pinky. Let's do a, like a nice 
want to do dark colors. I'm trying to find a dark. Oh, actually, oh, I think that crimson. A deep. Oh, there we go. Maybe this one. This one is Artist Loft Deep Magenta. And like I said, these are years. So I'm going to have to give them a good shake. Deep Magenta. And what the hey, I'll throw in this. Which one? Which one? Which one? A blue. Turquoise blue. Liquid X Basics turquoise blue. So I'll put all of these away because we're not going to use those. And I'm just going to set them beside me. See, and this is what I mean by I hate having all of these mixtures. Because what do you do with them when you find out you don't enjoy using them? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, this is my Dutch pour mix from the other day that I mixed up with the, um, let me find what name it is. Um, Daler and Rowney. This is the one I mixed up for the Dutch pour the other day. So I have this left over. So we're going to just give it a base coat because you want to have, when you're doing swipes, you want to have a good base coat so you have something to swipe with, right? Let me just clean it out with one of my little spatulas. I don't want to waste any of this goodness. And I may put just a tad bit more. Whoop. There. And we will use my OXO omelet spatula. This is when I bought this like three years ago or more when I was doing this type of painting. probably going to put a little bit more and what I'm going to do because you want to have a little bit of a, a sky background let me move these out of the way I hope this works out because I haven't I did it once when I did my initial one there that off that. I'm just going to wipe off my spatula. There we go. I find I get doing this and then I forget and then it's paint. It's harder to clean off. So it's just a second here guys. Bear with me. There we go. Done. Away for the next time. What I'm going to do because I like doing the blow dryer. I'm going to blow dry this out, being it is my Dutch pour mix. And then it'll even everything out. It'll get my edges. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to play around here anyways, 
I have, this is my Dutch pour mix. This is um, Grumbrocker's Thalo Blue. And I'm just gonna put a, a little dabs here and there. Because I want to do, basically, we're just gonna play paint. We're just gonna paint. We just want to get some sky in here. There we go. I think that will be good. Just kind of swiping it. Any blue in that corner. Perfect. Just give it a good. And I'm like I said, I'm not overly crazy about it not being even because you're gonna swipe it. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of these. Ooh, I probably could swipe with that. I'm gonna leave my scissors out because I may want to swipe again. So what I'm going to do is a little bit more than this is my Dutch pour um, white uh, artist loft acrylic black. And what I'm going to do is because you want the water line to be a little bit more. A little bit higher than and come down and do straight line and that's what we're going to do our swipe color with and I'm going to take this and try to make this <laughs> so what you want to do is just come through place a couple colors Take a card, pray that it works, and hit the black, and just swipe. Stop, and pick it up. I want it to be a crisp line, so we'll see. Jeepers. I just, at least it matches my, my sweater. I just put that in my mouth. Gross. And let's get a wider one. Oh, the more I think about it, the more it's harder to do. I'm going to bend it like this so it might be easier for me to... See how I did it? Pull it. I want to kind of keep it level to the canvas. Let me put a little more color. Try that again. Oh, oh my, my, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now well, let's try bright yellow. There we go. 
We're going to do a skinny, 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 skinny one. And that is a good idea. Bend it so you have a little handle. Oh, I may have to take my sweater off. Oh no, but that's all right. Oh my goodness. Let mix, let's mix. We'll do another wide one. Just to get this out of here and we'll do it short. You can reuse these. Stop and bring it back. Oh my goodness. That's what I was having an issue when I was doing this one. I was having a hard time getting it like to be flat. So now I'm, oh my goodness. See what I mean about the cells? They're probably going to be way too many cells in here for me. And let's do a skinny. Oh, I'll use this one. I'm going to try something. I'm going to cut an angle, like a triangle, and see if this gives it a different... No, I want it to be... I don't know what I was thinking with that. I was trying to... We'll do another little short one beside it. Let's do our green. Yeah, pretty sure. See, even three years ago, I was addicted to that Pebbleo Studio. I think that is the trick, not quite. All right, which one didn't I use? I think I used them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. All right, so let's get back here. We'll do a red one. And you just repeat the process. It's pretty easy. Let me put a little bit more red there. Ah, perfect. Let's do the teal. And we'll mix them together. I should be putting it in order so I'm remembering which way. Boop. Um, T. 
vacío. Oh, I already did. That should have been blue, but that's alright. So, oh yeah, we didn't do the green yet. sky let's make this one look bigger there we go do another yellow do it skinny mini let's try this and see if this no it won't work It was pretty actually. Let's do a teal. I'll do a big one. Actually, that's turquoise. I keep saying teal. And then basically when you're going to go do the, see that's the side that's on the, this is not the silhouette in the water, the next one is, and you can use that, you can go all as deep as you want, and you don't need to put any more black down because there's a lot in there, and we'll finish it off with red. would torch it but look what I bought what a little wee guy it's the same as my big one but uh, it doesn't want to do that let's just give it a torch and after the fact you can come back in. I'm just thinking as I'm going here. You can come back in and paint a definite line in between each building if you desire that. All right, now we're gonna do the bottom. We started off with red. And this one, you wanna take it as far down as you can.
what I might do is put a couple together. This one was and the yellow. Magenta. It's pretty bad when you're so engrossed you didn't notice that your battery died, but I didn't do this yet, so we're going to do the magenta. I might come back in here with a little bit more of this. We'll cut this one in half. more black than I wanted. But anyways, this is the blue. And the green. And again, like I said, this is just playing around. If you don't like it, then I'm just, I don't know. I'm on the fence. There's way too many cells. And it's because my paints have sat for three years with the silicone in it. just of what I'm doing and that's what I like about art because you can take what I'm doing and just do something totally different but you got a basic idea right try to lift it up so that you get that jaggedy edgy on the bottom part. Magenta. Ooh. I almost want to come in and do like a, like that, but I don't want to ruin the swipes to make like the waves in the water. Uh, skinny one. There we go. get that. Raid. 
said this side doesn't have to be and actually probably a, a wider canvas might have helped as well Turquoise. It's a T word, I guess. <laughs> oh. And magenta. Hmm. And maybe we'll do a little bit more magenta because it looks like I did it almost a double one. And then we finish with red. There we go. I'm still, like I said, I'm still on the fence, guys. But it's fun. It's something different. And like I said, when it's done, you can come back and define. I'm just closing up all my bottles. You can define the the buildings a little better. You can come back. I would. I don't know. What would I do it with? I would love to do a little. Mm. I'm gonna come back with a, and this paint is so watery. I'm wondering. I just want to come back with a just a, a black line, but very faint. just got my um, what do you call it palette knife It, to me, it looks like it's the exact same. I don't see a definition. So I'm, this is going to be, oh, I don't want to do this. This is why you experiment. I get people commenting that you don't know what you're doing, but this is called experimenting. So I seriously would like it to have like the water line down here. I think this would be a good way to try to do it. So if you want to take this and leave it where it is, not even do that line because that dragged it through, leave it here, let it dry, and you can come back and you can embellish a little bit more. But I personally want to see if I can make it like a water line. Wish me luck. both ways because like you can see you're dragging the paint 
and do it even where there is no color. I'm going to come back with it this way. <laughs> I like that. Sorry, that was a devious giggle. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a torch. There you go. I'm impressed. Let me flip it the other way. And we'll do a side by side. Okay, so that's like I said, and this type of painting, it's abstract, so it's an illusion, right? You want an illusion to think. So, actually, I do like how. Here, let me, we'll do this. We'll keep doing up and down. I like how this one is nice. I think I did come back with a dark line. So when this is dry, I probably will come back with a little bit of a black. And I'll probably use real, not watered down paint, but I will use actual paint. But I do like the aspect of the ripples. And this is why you experiment. Take your paintings to the next level. And I think I just, I, I took the time to take my canvas and I just put paint all underneath. <laughs> so with that, my peeps, I'm gonna actually put my fan on this, let this dry. And I think we're gonna Maybe, like I said, I want to definitely do another black line and maybe come back and do um, a definition of the actual um, buildings. So with that, I'm going to let you go and I will be back when it's dry. Hello, we are back. This is dry. I'm just, I've got a little bit of my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black in here. I'm just going to come here and just make that a definite black line now that everything is dry i think i'm gonna leave it at that i just wanted to cover up the wishy this uh Some of this white lines that are in here. I'm not going crazy, just give it that one. That one straight line. There we go. That's it. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? I, if I did this again, I would do it without the uh, silicone in it and see what it would look like. Because these are the exact same paints, and you can tell that as the longer it sits, I'm gonna bring you up just a little bit. The longer it sits, the more, um, the more cells come out. Well, I guess no matter which way I do it, it isn't gonna show you both. <laughs> there. So 
So anyways, I like the idea how uh, the um, this turned out. From a distance, it looks like it's the the water line. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's um, Cityscape Swipe. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm excited for Friday's Cityscape. I think you'll like it. If you liked the beach one, I think you'll like Sunday, or sorry, Friday's um, coasters I'm gonna make. So with that being said, my beautiful people, <clears throat> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And in my description box, I have the links to um, my Amazon shops, my Facebook page. I have the links to Bundy Molds with a discount code. I have a, the links to Crystal Resin, the links to, <clears throat> sorry, where to purchase a Triart Liquid Glass. And I also have the the links to my two amazing Lares distributors. My Canadian one is Michelle from Artworks Canada. My discount code with Michelle is Sherry Molten Ten, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corners, my American distributor. And my discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Molten Ten. And with that, my PayPal link is in there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.